Here again, the problem is storage, right? Well, Norm decided he wanted to come to the Pink Squirrel today. I know we were here just last month. But things change, like they do say. This is, looks like only $5. And it's very sweet. Um, I think they did a wonderful job. I love beaded things. So this is very, very unique. So I would like this for $5. It looks to me like something pretty old. I don't... I don't know that people have patience nowadays to do this, right? It seems that way. So I'm definitely going to get this. Pretty cute. I've already seen some fun things here. It's very, very busy and we got here late. Very late because we weren't thinking about it being today. Norm was busy cleaning this morning. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a very fun find. I love it. Kitty. I had to park the block away. Oh, I'm sorry. That's really cute. This is the first time we've gotten here this late. And it's uh, yeah, 20. It's late. This place must be a gold yeah. mine. Yeah, I bet. It is busier than all get out. I want to see $5? $5 for this great big cat hanging. That's cheap, oh. isn't it? Yeah. Isn't that adorable? It's very vintage looking. Well, I'm trying to think of stuff for this window you know yeah five bucks for that is really really showy norm it um it looks very vintage i'm not saying it is but certainly made to look and that a, way a blemish on it but you could probably touch that up uh, it's not important probably but i don't know well, let me look around a little bit yeah different i don't know that's you know, cute up against the back wall yeah don't worry about it okay well, I don't know where Norm went to, of course. He's way in the back room looking at toys as usual. I think I bought one like this, but it was in different colors. Yeah, I don't recall any orange raspberry looking things. The colors on this are different. It's only $7.95. And it's really, looks like it's in pretty good condition, needs good cleaning, but it is quite worn on the bottom. So it's J -ch Chain, C-H-E-I-N and Company. So I don't know if I want to bother because I don't know just not sure I'll think about it I don't think I've seen this before here only six dollars it's hobbyist because it's dated on the bottom 1971 kind of fun in a way isn't it you could just use it for a vase not that I need a vase I don't need a rooster vase, but that's pretty cute. Yeah. I thought it was pretty well done. See, it's got initials, so that's why. Definitely looks hobbyist to me. Pretty cute. And I have a pair of those. I've said that. It's been here for a long time. So I have the pair. The other one is higher, much higher up. Taller, I should say.
this is a different looking wicker plastic mirror for six dollars only what a steal i mean maybe the mirror might not be perfect i don't know but i've bought many many mirrors by burwood or uh, home co but i'm thinking this would be more burwood it it's fine just the way it is but typically i've had norm paint some of them that's a uh, really a deal for six dollars all those mirrors are getting very very expensive and i know this is not new but i was collecting these several years back and they were really 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 hard to find at the thrift stores i found them for like one year and then i couldn't find them anymore and this looks to me like it's only two dollars that's the way she makes her zeros they look like w's nice little brass box but that looks to me like two dollars and this is the size they charge more than that at the goodwill yeah they're really fun and sparkly so for two dollars i think i'll take a chance i probably have one like it but that's okay what i do is put them under our coffee table in the fall um, all around the underneath the glass so they really showed up fun because they were glittery and it was just neat that they were leaves fall leaves that's an amazing price for a pair of brass duck or mallard bookends ten dollars made in Canada how reasonable huh they're heavy this is a funny uh, McCoy big green pepper cookie jar for only ten dollars that's amazing I know there's music playing over here to my right but maybe it's not too bad if I keep talking this is so funny it's really tiny all little vinyl strands of some kind four dollars <laughs> it's pretty cute and there's that beautiful blue duck for 26 very pretty nice little vintage painting huh that's pretty this is kind of cute looks like 650 each it's a little boy pilgrim mouse creamer and a little girl pilgrim sugar isn't that crazy wonder who made those Sri Lanka oh it's Fitz and Floyd 1988 it looks very very nice there's Norm. There's Norm. Say hi, Norm. Hi, Norm. <laughs> That's Fitz and Floyd Creamer and Sugar. Tell me to say That's hi, Norm. Creamer and Sugar, isn't that funny? That's cute, yeah. Let, let's walk over here. I want to show you something really crazy. Okay. That witch. She's all rubber. It's from 2001. Eighteen dollars. It says vintage, but 2001, I don't really consider vintage, but... I like that in my window? I don't know. I just wanted to show it to you. We was, don't... We I don't, was looking at it when you were looking at this. Yeah, oh, you were... Like I don't... Yeah, I don't typically buy witches, but she's pretty ugly, isn't she? Yeah. Crazy ugly. So what do you do? Hang her up, huh? That was her. I'd get her nose job. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty ugly. But I wanted to show it to you. I didn't think you had seen no, her. No, I'd seen her when I uh, came in. It looked like it was all rubber.
these are the two Red Wing viewers that I found this year. This one I had in the spring and found it really, really cheap. It did have damage um, on the spout. On the other side of the spout there is a chip, but I have try to repair it as best I can. I know a lot of you ask, how do you do that? I don't fuss. I don't do anything professionally. I just add some Elmer's glue. I keep letting it dry and building it up. It melts nicely. And then I, once I get it built up enough, I will try to mix up some paint by testers. Um, the little bottles of enamel testers paint. I will mix whatever I need and try to touch it up. It's good enough for me. This one, however, was from a Duluth Antique Mall, Father Time. It was very, very expensive. They said it was from the 60s and it was Red Wing and the bottom is marked Red Wing, I believe but it was so fantastic. It is the wildest drip glaze that Norm and I have ever noticed on any hobbyist piece. So he talked me into it. He said, well, you're on vacation and you came up here to do some antiquing. So that white vase that I was just showing you at the pink squirrel was a pretty good deal but I think this one even just being in two two tones of green is just fantastic I was thrilled to find that but isn't this just amazing explosion of colors so this is going to be featured in my Halloween dining room. I just love it. Norm really likes it too. And I do put a little bit of fall foliage in it. Just a little bit. Really neat. Oh, look at these. This owl. That's a big owl, isn't it? I don't need any owls either, but $8.95 for the big one back there I'll go look at. And this one, I don't have to. That's really different, isn't it? When it comes to my owl collection, I'm not big on the flat finish. $3.95. Can you believe that? Wow. $3.95 for a great big owl figurine. That's pretty fun for $3.95, I'd say. Good grief. And this one was $8.95. He's bigger. He's a little bigger. Look at those ears. Yeah, they're pretty showy. These are huge. Huge. How do you lift it to drink? <laughs> I think they're just for looks. This is kind of funny. I don't know why I'm showing you so many beer steins. I don't buy beer steins, but that is funny. You could certainly drink out of that. Japan. Oh, that's funny. It would be cute in a up north home, lake home, woodsy home. That'd be fun.
And there's a lot of pottery vases up here, but they look new, you know, except this one. This does not look new to me. It is only $3.95. And if you look at the bottom, that just looks vintage to me. I think it would be fun to add that to um, some of them that I have. I, I think it's kind of cool. And I put this one down here in better light. I wish I knew this is really different it's got a lot of color in it it doesn't look new to me really hard to tell I'm not an expert on pottery but a lot of color in there isn't it I think that's very fun I really like that I just love pottery pieces. Very tempting. I I could get a, maybe that's better. Get it really get it under some light there for you. Isn't that different? I think that's pretty cool. See new ones. That's fake crazing. A lot of the new ones are drip glaze like this and that. And see what the bottoms look like? They're so clean and they got those little gray pads on them. That's, you know, new China stuff. And then of course you will find labels like this. Ashland. Wow, oh, look at the size of that thing. Ugh, kind of ugly. But yeah, this is old. I think I'm going to get that for sure. Yeah. That goes with that funky fish I found. But that, yeah, that is very cool. But I think I'll just try to stick with this. I love the flowers on it. Very neat. Here is that really fun big fish that I was talking to you about that I found maybe this past spring. It is the coolest piece of pottery that has glitter in the glaze. I've not seen too many things with glitter in the glaze. It is shaped so cool. It is not a planter, just a statue. And it's 60s flower power. That's what I think of. And look at how nice it goes with that vase. $3.95 for the vase. Big flower on that. And a big flower around the eye. I just thought it really coordinated nicely. So couldn't resist that vase. And it would be fun to put something in the vase, too. Some Ad Aladdin. Aladdin. Norm took down a fun thermos. That's fun. It's um, not this yellow. It's harvest gold. Yeah. It is darker than that. Mm -hmm. Definitely like your harvest gold. Yeah. It's $10. That's really cute. Yeah, very mod, tall, skinny. Yeah. By Aladdin. So. Good price. <laughs> yeah, they're funny, aren't they? Yeah. Wow, look at that purse. Blue Deville. Wow, that is funky, fun. 30. Very retro looking, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Look at the feet on it. Chrome pointed yeah. feet. Good grief. Yeah. Yeah, it's really wild. Here's the same thing in uh, olive green. A little more olive. Uh, Ten bucks. Yeah. Uh, isn't that funny? Like I've never seen it. Yeah, it does. It does. It's nicer, actually. And there's your ten dollars for your typical 
pretty coffee server thing. I like that. That's very nice. It was very sweet of Norm to surprise me with this. He saw it at the Goodwill in our area and it was $9.99. The bottom says ABC Distributing. It is oven and dishwasher safe and there are no chips on it. Let me show you the inside. That's the cute design on the inside. It's in excellent condition. So you could bake anything in there, even sweet potatoes, any kind of hot dish if you wanted. Yeah. So that was very nice of him to surprise me with that. It will probably show up in my kitchen and dining room Thanksgiving video coming up. This was fun to find at a Family Pathways back when we had gone thrifting for Halloween things. I was also, of course, picking up some very nice Thanksgiving things. This is by L.E. Smith. I already had one, but I wanted a second one because I've always thought my turkey that I've had in the window and has been shown in other Thanksgiving living room videos. I always thought he looked a little lonely. For some reason, this one looked smaller to me. I don't know. We'll see when I unpack my Thanksgiving things if it is exactly the same size or a bit smaller and I really have a feeling that it's a little smaller but that's good I would love that if it was it is in perfect condition and it was eight dollars and fifty cents which I think was a real deal from Family Pathways in North Branch Minnesota aren't these veggies fun nine fifty for the cucumbers <laughs> It's probably, might be seven fifty. I don't know. They're big, really, really big. So you can see how big they are. Wow. Nice. So cute. Oh, these are cool. They look like uh, antique firearms. Very detailed. I think I'm going to get this whole set. Little Derringer there. I think this big one up here is called the Blunderbuss. I'll find out more about them later. I saw this at a church thrift store, Bethesda Thrift. We did do a video on that store. We went back there the following Monday when it was senior discount day. We went back there to look at the Halloween stuff. And this was there for $9.99, so I did get 25% off. It is by Sapota, S-A-P-O-T-A. So it is made in China, but it's in really good condition. There's one tiny little flea bite on the lid, but very, very nice condition. And I love the fact that it was very vintage style. That 
that was a very fun find. Beautiful condition cookie jar. So I will have that in my Halloween kitchen dining room video coming up. Well, this is crazy, kind of Art Deco-like, I think. I don't know what you call this, having a great big globe on it like that. These are dolphins. A TV lamp, $48. It says vintage. I can say that I've never seen this before either. Wow, that's really different. So it's not a planter. It's just a light. Very fun. You never know what you're going to see here. That's fun. Glass. Oh, that's different. Huh, cool. Can you believe this pink stove? Oh my goodness. With copper looking dials. Look at that. Oh, it really needs a good cleaning. Oh my goodness. General Electric. Look at all these buttons. Oh, jeez. I like the touch, the ones that you just touch on your on the screen light. <laughs> it's a lot easier on your fingers. Oh my gosh, this must be for the light down there. Oh, that's so cute, just for display. It's a hundred and. $35. Oh my goodness. I've never seen that here before. Have you, Norm? This wasn't here before. No, that's a woman who was greeting us when we came in. She's only been oh, here a so this now. is her booth. This is her booth, yeah. Oh, she's and look at she's even got an adorable and little pink tired. napkin holder. A dollar ninety-seven. Oh, that's sweet. This is what I was going to show you. These fun, loud loud ones. Wow. This is a salt shaker. It's very pretty. Made in China though. But it is pretty. Yeah. Uh, she's got all Humpty Dumpty up there. It's ready to fall off the wall too. Oh uh, yeah. Look at this cornice. Is that what you would call that Norm? No. Wow. Is that uh, early American, colonial, colonial? Is that what you would call that? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. The way they're dressed? Yeah, the you can always tell, tell the men's the hair, yeah, and their, their hair and all the lace ruffle. Um, they have ruffle on their chest, so that looks like George Washington time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cute. How much is it? On the end, 1497 only? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's different. You have to have a big kitchen window. Well, this set was a real surprise. This is vintage Lucite. Uh, grape design. Very mod. They're in very good condition, except for one thing. The wicks were not in real good condition. I decided that I could glue some gold braiding, some gold cord. I don't know if it would be best if Norm tried to uh, drill out the wick that is left over inside and then I would be able to get a piece of wick down in there. But it isn't really, really necessary for me to do that. They're just fine the way they are. And it was a really, really good deal. $12. This is a really cool pair of candlesticks. Amber glass and hobnail. Norm was looking at them a couple different times when we were at the pink squirrel sales. I made the decision. It wasn't a hard decision. They were only $9.95 and they're very tall. Perfect condition. Unbelievable price. They will be very pretty in the fall with my 
of their amber glass and with the amber turkeys too very nice look at this gorgeous Christmas tree skirt latch hook can you believe the work that went into that that is beautiful let me see the tag here $22 can you believe the work that went into this oh my that is really nice yeah wow I just asked Norm to pull it out to show you I I don't know that it's pretty but I don't think it goes with a um, yeah I don't I don't think it goes with an aluminum Christmas tree that's just my my crazy opinion yeah we weren't sure what it was if it was just a rug well, it would have to go on the base anyways because you have the turnstile up on top. You know, you yeah, want but to cover that up. no, it so. goes around the base, but we wouldn't know how it would fit. Look what I found on sale. They're huge. Oh, they're just so cool with that wood grain and the mushrooms at the bottom of a tree. Look at that. Oh, I can't believe it on sale for seven. This is George Z. Lefton. It has a sticker on the bottom, 1970. Oh, look at that. And look at this Twelve one. For seven. This is a covered sugar. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I can't believe nobody bought this. Are they crazy? Huh? <laughs> I guess I'm the only one that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, they're so nice. Okay, well, that's wonderful. That was worth coming here just for that set. Yeah, we did. Wonderful.